Well, I guess I'll start. Um, my name's Tristan. Um, me and my friend. I've been doing this for as long as you know I can remember. You can't even count how many years we've been doing this. No matter how many hands you have, we've been doing it since we were kids. And just something about this place. We go to a lot of different places, but we always seem to return here. And you, you really come here, and at first you don't really get it, but it takes a little bit to sink in, and after it does, you really understand why it's called the Blue Forest. It's just, there's so many rare creatures, and we've never been able to find the ones what we hear about in legend, but we're going to. We're going to. We've seen so many things Today's here. Today's the day. We're going to be Today's looking. the day. Yeah. Today's the day. Today we're going to find every little thing that we've been after. We're going to look for sap monkeys and crawlers, gray dogs of the forest, and all sorts of crazy things we'll be talking about with you today. My name is make some Sean, by the way. Oh, sorry. I'm Sean, and um, I'll be uh, behind the camera during a lot of this. Right now it's on one of those tripod robots, and uh, later we'll be walking around and I'll be behind there. So I get asthma sometimes if I start breathing heavily, you know. Forgive me, I'm gonna try to hold my breath as much as I can. Yeah. Um, uh, before I forget, we should make some sap monkey hot dogs later. Oh, that sound good. Well, we're gonna have to, you know, find some sap monkeys first, right, yeah. Tristan? Oh, well, we have never have. Uh, they're rare. There are some rare creatures in the blue forest, and we're gonna really just do our best to find them. We're gonna start right we're, now. We're gonna do it really well. Um, I mean, we've always had good eyesight, so yeah, I think we we'll be able to eyesight. see. I can see, you know, that tree over there. Oh, me really too. Well. And there's, there's, I was looking at that one earlier. There's little like particles of bark on it. It's, it's, That's what I saw. It's weird with it. How you funny. can you can see the sparkles. Oh, I didn't see that. They go up all the way up there, oh, and then yeah. it's, it's even the higher you get, the shinier it is. Hey, what's that? I, I saw. Uh, there's branches. There's just branches. No, it looked like a like a tentacle. There's just branches. I don't know. Yeah, I guess there's, you're right. There's actually up there, if you look higher. Oh, yeah, there's branches on other trees, well, There's too. also, if you look even closer, with your really good eyesight, you know, you can see little trees growing out of the big tree. Oh, yeah. This is wow. the Bormethian swash, swash drop, drop bug. bug. Right. Now, get this. This bug is very rare to see. Yeah, you know, Tristan, I don't think I've ever seen one of those in the Blue Forest before. Oh, they're quite common. Huh. But look at the gradation on this bug's leaves. I've never seen one quite so green. Hey, I bet you didn't see me here. As you cannot see, Tristan, my good friend and I here, have been studying camouflage and stealth for our entire lives. We know exactly what to do in every single situation. We know how not to be seen. Hey, did you guys know that the blue forest can also be black? This dead tree that I'm standing next to is dead because of animals urinating on it. Now it's quite dangerous and no one should be touching these trees directly. With it comes a lot of diseases. Um, one of them, purple... Purple pimple disorder. Purple pimple disorder. Unfortunately, we had a friend who just recently passed away from that. Um, he came up with us hiking and we're teachers. We teach people what to do and what not to do on hikes. We help each other and too. We, and one of them is not to touch trees like this. Bill didn't watch our videos. Bill so didn't, didn't watch know. our videos. Yeah. Why would he know? We watch each other's videos. And as far as I'm concerned, that's too bad for him. But he was a good friend. You guys were getting kind of close actually for a little while there. He's dead. He's dead now. Hey. There's nothing over there. What are you pointing at? Now look, look on that branch. There's a branch, but that's there's something on it. I have better eyesight than you, and I don't see anything. So what? No, it's a wolf bat. Don't you see it up on that branch? No, but I'd love to see a wolf bat. Yeah. Let's put our bathing suits on and go check it out. Let's get him. That's the wolf bat. You were right. Wow. Beautiful. Now, I don't know how many people out there have actually seen a wolf bat, but... Wait a minute, there's two wolf bats. There's two? Now, if you look closely, okay, a wolf bat is divided into millions of little particles, and there's areas in between each one that is completely invisible. But if you look closely, you can see there is a separate wolf bat behind the other divided particles. Now, everyone out there, 
look closely because you can see between each little area a visible wolf bat. There's other areas of invisible wolf bat. You gotta pay really close attention. We are going to take, you know, a look, a real close look, a personal look at every single little plant. Every plant. Every fern. Every fern. And when we find the ferns, we're gonna turn over the leaves and we're gonna find every little spore on there. Every spore. And every pore. And we're gonna Pores. yeah, too. We're gonna just enlarge everything for you guys so you guys at home can just enjoy what it really looks like and we're gonna we're gonna go down in there and when you really look closely you can see little villages mm. and in every village you know there's so many inhabitants every there's, single village and we're just gonna dive right in there for you guys and it's important that you say dive right in because that's just me I come up to the blue forest because I want to become a fish Okay guys, do you know what these are? These are grapefruits and Sean's going to be so pleased when I give him these. We're going to use these as bait for creatures and these are going to be amazing. My name's Tristan Hodges and I grew up in elementary school and ever since then I've been devoted to becoming a wilderness survival expert. There's nothing I want more than that. I want to be able to teach people and to achieve my goals, I come up to the Blue Forest every single day. And every single day, I bring my good luck charm, the Bone of Good Marrow. It's supposed to attract creatures, and so far it has. I've seen nothing but rare creatures every time I come up. I feel very lucky to have this bone. Furthermore, my skills entail being able to cook 20-minute campfire brownies in 19 minutes. Um, I can see things miles away that no one else can see. I was born with naturally great eyesight. Uh, my athletics are impeccable. They're top notch. I use a mirror to see all around me. Where are you going? I'm just going to take a number two. Okay, um, basically what we're going to be doing is putting these grapefruits out in the sunniest place we can find. Hopefully it'll dry them out in no time at all. Here I've made a pretty clever trap using this dried grapefruit as bait. He's going to put the... Yeah. The dried grapefruit, which we just dried. It's right there. I gotta be really careful. If this falls in my hand, Look it might dry. It is. You can't choose too big of a pebble. If you do, it will kill the animal. See, I'm I'm trying to look for a small field mouse or maybe even a large deer. There's um, a white deer's deer over here. He's gonna trap one, maybe. Hopefully, hopefully. I, I mean it no harm, but I'm using um, some of the black tree that we were talking about earlier um, as you know part of the trap because it attracts all animals uh, urine is an animal's favorite thing the urine makes the animals want to go to the other urine so they can urinate now Tristan and I always find it's best to you know make sure that the traps work before we send the animals in there because we don't want to hurt any of them so oh, there's the grapefruit there's oh my god Ouch. That really hurts my finger. Ow. Ow. You don't know how much that hurts until it actually happens to you. Maybe you should. Ow! Wow. Remarkable. Would you guys take a look at what Tristan and I just discovered? Now this appears to be the cavern, which may or may not be the home to a family of gray sea dogs. Around here they're known as stripy tail monkey growlers. 